Over the past few weeks, several video clips have emerged on the social media platforms showing Turkish combat drones Bayraktar TB2 destroying Russian tanks and convoys as President Putin's forces tried to make inroads into the country. Ukraine's Ministry of Defense has put up many footage of the Bayraktar combat drones wreaking havoc on Russian forces. The drone now has a cult-like following. So popular are Bayraktar drones with the Ukrainian army that it's celebrated in a song. We took offense at these orcs. Russian bandits are made into ghosts by Bayraktar and posted on the country's land forces Facebook page. The Ukrainian Foreign Ministry posted on Twitter an image of a police dog named Bayraktar and a lemur born in the Kyiv Zoo has also been named after the drones that have taken out Russian tanks and missile systems in recent days. The TB-2 is Ukraine's only armed UAV, carrying as many as four laser-guided munitions. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the Turkish-made Bayraktar TB-2 armed drone is turning out to be one of the most effective weapons for Ukraine against Russia. Let's get into the details. The Bayraktar TB-2 is a medium-altitude, long-endurance, male, unmanned combat aerial vehicle UCAV, capable of remotely controlled or autonomous flight operations. It's manufactured by the Turkish company Baykar Defense, primarily for the Turkish Armed Forces, and is developed from TB-1. The aircraft is monitored and controlled by aircrew in the ground control station, including weapons employment, via Turksat satellite. Bayraktar means ensign or standard bearer in Turkish. The development of the UAV has been largely credited to Selkuk Bayraktar, a former MIT graduate student and son-in-law of President Erdogan. While the Turkish Armed Forces describe Bayraktar TB2 as a tactical UAV class to prevent it from being a competitor to the TAI Anka UAV, international standards would classify it as a medium-altitude, long-endurance UAV. As of the 26th of November 2021, the TB2 drone completed 400,000 flight hours globally. Bayraktar TB2 features a monocoque design integrating an inverse V-tail structure. The fuselage is made of carbon fiber, Kevlar and hybrid composites, whereas the joint segments constitute precision computer numerical control CNC, machined aluminum parts. The UAV has a length of 6.5 meters, a wingspan of 12 meters, and a maximum takeoff weight of 650 kilograms, or around 1,435 pounds. It has a redundant flight control system that allows autonomous taxi, takeoff, navigation, landing, and parking operations without assistance from any external sensor. The standard payload configuration includes an electro-optical camera mode, an infrared IR, camera module, a laser designator, a laser find ranger LFR, and a laser pointer. The power plant integrates 100 horsepower internal combustion engine driving a two-bladed variable pitch propeller. The UAV has a range of more than 150 kilometers or around 95 miles and can fly at a maximum altitude of 27,030 feet. It has a maximum speed of about 225 kilometers per hour or about 140 miles per hour and an endurance of 27 hours. It has four hardpoints for laser-guided smart munition with provisions to carry combinations of 1. El Umtis, which is a long-range anti-tank missile system. 2. MAM, which is precision-guided munitions. 3. 
Rokitsan Sirit 70 mm missile system, 4. Bozok laser guided rockets, 5. Togan air to surface launched 81 mm mortar munition, 6. Kuzgun modular joint ammunition, which has two variants, free soaring, having a range of 110 km or around 70 miles, and turbojet motor equipped one having a range of 245 km or 150 miles. As part of its military modernization program, the Armed Forces of Ukraine acquired 12 Bayraktar TB2s in 2019. After the successful use of the aircraft, the Ukrainian Navy had ordered a separate set of five additional Bayraktar TB2s delivered in 2020, according to Navy officials. Meanwhile, Turkish and Ukrainian officials have announced the establishment of a joint venture to produce 48 additional Bayraktar TB2s in Ukraine. During a Russian military buildup in Crimea and near Ukraine's border, a Bayraktar TB2 conducted a reconnaissance flight over the Donbas region on the 9th of April 2021. This was the first operationalization of the aircraft by the Ukrainian forces within an active conflict zone. In October 2021, a Bayraktar TB2 drone was used for the first time in combat during the war, targeting a Russian separatist artillery position, destroying a D-30 howitzer, and halting the bombardment of Ukrainian troops near Herentny. On March 2nd, Ukraine's defense minister, Oleksiy Reznikov, had announced that new combat-ready TB2s had arrived in the country as part of a larger international military assistance package. Slow-moving Bayraktar TB2 are vulnerable to attacks by air defense systems, fighter jets, and helicopters. But the failure of Russia to dominate the skies over Ukraine has helped the drones to operate with limited restrictions. Some poor tactical maneuvers on part of Russian forces, like advancing without air defense or not employing advanced electronic warfare systems, seem to have magnified the impact of Bayraktar TB2. This is making the TB2 a force multiplier for the Ukrainian military. Footage of drone strikes shared on social media by Ukrainian forces and ministers are also playing an important role in Ukraine's information war. While on one hand, the videos, often carrying mocking messages in Russian or English, infuse fear in the enemy, on the other hand, they provide a vital morale booster to the Ukrainian forces. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.